The definition of sepsis is life-threatening organ dysfunction due to dysregulated host response to an infection. Not all infection causes sepsis. This immune response is normally present in all infections and inflammatory reactions. Here you can see cytokine release and recruitment of immune cells. Septic shock is a subset of sepsis. It is characterized by circulatory failure and metabolic abnormalities. In most cases, the bacterial infection is the most common cause. Step aureus, pseudomonas, and E. coli are isolated in 50% of cases. Viral, fungal, and parasitic infections are the other possible causes of sepsis. Lower respiratory tract infections like pneumonia is the most common cause of primary origin. Abdominal infections and urinary tract infections are other primary origins. Let's talk about the pathophysiology of septic shock. Mean arterial pressure is responsible for the perfusion of major organs maintained by cardiac output and systemic vascular resistance. Stroke volume and heart rate is responsible for the cardiac output. During septic shock, there's an increased release of nitric oxide in blood vessels which cause reduced systemic vascular resistance. The venodilation cause reduced venous return and so stroke volume is reduced. Reduced systemic vascular resistance causes reduced mean arterial pressure. So there is inadequacy to perfusion to the organs. Some specific group of patients has higher risk of developing sepsis. Patients aged more than 65 years, immunocompromised patient, and patient recently underwent surgery or any invasive procedures, and patient with interlinked catheters, diabetes mellitus, hemodialysis, and drug use or alcohol misuse patient has increased risk of sepsis development. The signs and symptoms of sepsis is extremely varied. Usually they present with infection symptoms such as cough, headache, some patients present with fever, but fever is not the essential thing to diagnose sepsis. Hypothermia is also a possibility. Patient can develop tachycardia, tachypnea, and altered mental status. Reduced urine output. Sepsis is a clinical diagnosis. There is a suspicion of infection and features of organ dysfunctions. Previously, systemic inflammatory response syndrome features are used to diagnose sepsis. But in new definitions, it eliminates the requirement for presence of SERS to define sepsis. Currently, we use QSOFA and SOFA for the diagnosis of organ failure. SOFA needs two or more factor changes to diagnose organ dysfunction. The more easy way of assessing this is using QSOPA score. Here we use tachypnea, respiratory rate more than 22, altered mental state, GCS less than 14, and systolic blood pressure less than 100. The 2 out of 3 indicate patient with greater risk of adverse outcome in context of infection. In the treatment of sepsis, we follow 6 steps. There are 3 things to take and 3 things to give. We take blood cultures before starting antibiotics, but delivering antibiotics should not be delayed for taking blood cultures. Monitor serum lactate and urine output. Patients should be given empirical antibiotics, IV fluids, and supplemental oxygens. Additional steps can be include vasopressor and inotrope administration.